high availability isn't what it used to be once. As enterprises shift from traditional data centers to hybrid and multi-cloud, the responsibilities on infrastructure teams have changed dramatically. I sat down with Greg Tucker, senior Windows product support engineer at Sios Technology, to unpack what's different today and what teams routinely underestimate when it comes to keeping mission critical apps running. Greg, can you talk about how has the shift from traditional data centers to cloud and hybrid environments changed the responsibilities of infrastructure teams when it comes to ensuring high availability for mission critical applications? So many companies, many organizations, be they small, medium, or large, still rely on some commonality, some familiarity with um, control of their on-prem platforms to manage their data and other resources, just all their digital assets. So it's a comfortable choice for most, but the landscape is shifting. More and more businesses are now exploring or fully committed to the move to trusted cloud providers to offload the hassle of managing and maintaining infrastructure. This shift lets them focus, them being those engineers and analysts and admins, et cetera, lets them focus on what matters most, and that's delivering value to their teams and their customers, be it internal or external. So as companies continue to make this transition, whether fully embracing the cloud or adopting hybrid models, one thing is for certain, High availability and disaster recovery remain top priority. How are infrastructure teams balancing the complexity of multi-cloud high availability configurations with the need for simplicity, speed, and overall operational efficiency? Multi-cloud makes a lot of sense in, in uh, this day and age. So organizations are increasingly turning to multi-cloud strategies to drive efficiency and scalability. And here's a few um, reasons why, I think, from my experience. So shorten high availability deliverables, cloud consistent, okay? We always want to be uh, consistent. So there's a risk mitigation that can be addressed, some operational resilience, you know, having redundancy ensures business continuity, even during unexpected um, interruptions. There's a cost associated with any and everything that we do. So by optimizing costs, multiple providers means more opportunities to negotiating price and staying within budget. And most of all, I think it's most paramount, um, the leadership. Um, they love it. So a multi-cloud approach aligns perfectly with uh, your leadership's priorities. It's going to always support strategic growth by enabling flexibility to adopt to change demands. And most important, it's going to foster innovation, allowing teams to experiment with different cloud solutions. Can you also talk about how are organizations rethinking their HA strategies as the role of infrastructure agents? administrators and engineers is expanding beyond support to become actual enablers of innovation and resilience across distributed architectures. As cloud computing and on-demand continues to advance, the role of these infrastructure teams, you know, this changing overnight, you know, really changing a lot. So instead of just always being in a break fix mode, you know, just fixing things when they break. We're now taking on a more bigger, more strategic role, helping make decisions about scalability, security, performance, and efficiency. So you need a high availability solution that simplifies that complexity. And you got to start somewhere. So by bringing in all of these, um, I guess you call non-traditional um, resources, your admins, your architects, you know, and they're collaborating with a C-suite executive, this bodes for a, a, a good outcome. Can you talk about how should companies think about cost versus resilience? In other words, how do you help customers right-size their HA investment without over-engineering? The versatility really speaks for itself. So by having multiple vendors in your toolkit, in your toolbox, you can kind of Cherry pick the best offerings to suit your needs, whether it be in maximizing performance and reliability, taking advantage of cost savings and tailored solutions, all while staying agile in the face of evolving market conditions. So I'd say this to say, whether you're scaling for peak demand 
or exploring innovative hosting options, embracing a multi-cloud strategy positions your business to thrive. It's about staying ahead, staying competitive, and staying ready for whatever comes next. As infrastructure agents become more intelligent, integrating automation, AI, machine learning, and observability, what new opportunities and risks do they introduce for maintaining uptime and preventing downtime across mission critical systems? This is great. So AI machine learning, these are the buzzwords that I think we hear ad nauseum a lot. So with AI and machine learning, it continues to help reduce risk, but it just can't totally eliminate them entirely. Reliable data, security, privacy, and robust infrastructures continue to be essential for handling high demands and recovering from varying issues. So human oversight still remains crucial, even as AI enhances innovation and reliability. So with a good HADR solution, it can help businesses strengthen resilience, ensure continuity, and confidently manage their applications well into the future. What are some practical early warning signals customers should monitor that tell them that their HS setup isn't working as intended before an outage actually hits them? Well, this goes back to the break fix mentality. You see the warning signals. If your help desk, you know, is continuously getting calls or cases open, you know, via their um, their CRM platforms, you know, talking about performance, outages, you know, a five second outage in the banking industry could be crucial, i.e. Wall Street. So those are some of the symptoms, you know, just by looking at the the increase of the workload for a lot of a little things that happen, but those little things can, you know, become paramount and then you have a total outage and you can't meet that high availability that you promise a customer. You know, we want to build confidence and trust. We want to maintain trust. You know, we want to ensure that we give that customer the four nines or the five nines that we've promised them. And by high, having a highly available uh, infrastructure, you know, cluster, you know, your data being replicated to multiple availability zones, multiple um, regions, we ensure that redundancy. We want to make sure that HA continues to be paramount um, throughout the platforms. Looking ahead, what should customers expect to see next in how high availability solutions evolve over the next few years? Well, from a end user perspective, they won't see anything because their applications are going to always be up and running. You know, they'll be able to go to uh, their customer portal, handle transactions, et cetera. But for the folks or the staffers that monitor and manage the infrastructure, they're going to be able to scale on demand. They're going to be able to test on demand. Everything is going to be at the ready and all while you have your built-in DR or your built-in HA, and you can scale um, a a as needed. These things will be invisible as the industry uses the term serverless. Of course, we know there's still a server involved, but um, we're able to handle more and more workloads as the infrastructure grows, as demand grows. Uh, so those are the things that I see happening over the the next few years. All of the legacy applications, all of the processes that were somewhat manual, automation is going to be key. It's going to be paramount going to the future and beyond. Thank you so much for walking through the changing role of infrastructure admins and what it really takes to keep mission critical systems running in today's complex environment. The big takeaway for me is High availability is no longer just a configuration, it's a practice that spans people, process, and technology. So thanks for sharing those insights, and I look forward to chat with you again. Thank you. Thanks again. And back to our audience, if your company is navigating hybrid or multi-cloud HA, we'd love to hear how you are approaching it. So don't hesitate and reach out to our teams. And don't forget to subscribe like and stay tuned for more conversations on building resilience at enterprise scale thanks for watching